Adil El Bahari is a complex of mortuary temples and tombs located on the west bank of the Nile. The inner part of the temple was actually cut into the cliff and consists of peristyle court, a hypostyle hall, and an underground passage leading into the tomb itself. The cult of the dead king centered on the small stream cut into a rail of the hypostyle hall. The mortuary temple itself consists of the four courts enclosed by walls on three sides and a terrace on which stand a rod large scale structure that may represent the primeval mound that arose from the water of chaos. As the temple faces the east, the structure is likely to be connected with the sun cart of ray of the resurrection of the king. 9.12 Mannequin dressed in replicas of some of the objects found in tomb. Mocha civilization, Peru. The Mocha civilization is the origin of modern Peru. Almost 30 years ago, the grave of the Mocha civilization was found in Peru and, and some relics of ancient times were discovered from the grave. In this picture, a mannequin found in a royal tomb of the Moche, Moche civilization was described as well in people in Moche society. The mannequin is dressed like a warrior priest with several sets of ceremonial gear such as jewelry, breastplates, weapons, and ornamental feathers. In fact, Mocha civilization was the high hierarchy society. After people died, the size of tomb was decided based on his station in life. Besides, gold and silver were usually used by the Mocha. Then they buried some treasures that that could describe the life of that person. This figure let us imagine how his position in Moche society. This mannequin is wearing a helmet with an oval shaped huge decoration. A nose plate is placed under his nose. He also grabs a gold bell which has silver hand handle silver handle. In addition, the Moche focused on balance. Some objects were made symmetrically. There is one evidence to prove their inclination. 9.13 9 Peanut necklace was well figured with balance. All 20 peanuts are placed with bilateral symmetry. Half number of peanuts were made of gold and others were made of silver. As a result, people in the Motue civilization believed to keep symmet symmetry is important for making objects in perfect harmony. Funerary relief of a circus official is marble relief, dated 110 to 130 common era. As describing this Roman relief, there is a couple holding hands on the left. In Roman art, usually handshake means the marriage. So we can know they are married. His face is stiff looked with mouth cornered down. It's non idealized, frank and unflattering portraits. A team of horses and chariot with charioteer is on the right of couple. Horses are shown as 
valiant, prepared, sprinting, and under control. Behind the chariot, the charioteer is lifting a branch of victory. His path, right behind the horses, is waiting for his marching and racing. At the far right, the memoirs appear his efforts for victory. He trained himself a horse riding shown as his younger days in relief. The chariot and his teammates are leaping that communicates his speed and competitiveness. I think this is the official's achievements in younger days.